I am Jonah Friedman, and I am the product manager for proceduralism and simulation. My name is Martin Bisson, and I'm a senior development manager for the Bifrost core team. My vision for Bifrost is that it become a transformative tool for the next generation of animation and uh, visual effects in games production. The biggest challenge our customers are facing is related to the increased demand in both quality and quantity of content with tighter schedules and smaller budget. So a procedural solution to content creation has to be part of the mix. Um, and that includes things like instancing and scattering, and it includes things like physics simulation. Like nobody's going to create every wrinkle of an explosion themselves, they're going to simulate it. Um, it also includes procedural USD to be able to uh, automate big parts of their pipeline for scene assembly and packaging up assets. My name is Phil Meyer. I am the senior product owner for Bifrost Simulation. The vision for Bifrost for Simulation is to build something that is uh, both physically plausible and art directable. So these are sometimes two impossible things you want to combine. We really want to give artists and creatives control over the simulations that they make. In the latest release of Bifrost, there's a new viewport rendering called Nano VGT. So this is a GPU native way of rendering volumes. Uh, basically, you can visualize colors in there, have more physically accurate combustion, and actually just view uh, more total voxels. So what does that mean? Uh, bigger, better, more beautiful volumes, uh, much closer to Arnold rendering. My name's Jason Brown. I'm a Bifrost compound developer. The ability that Bifrost has to teach things is super cool. It's, it's super important too because it gives an artist a, a visual representation of what they're building. All right, so typically in VFX and games and anything that like architecture or anything that, that we do, it's all about moving data around. And if you're just doing that with a piece of software with some code, it's unless you really know what you're doing, it's really hard to track that data, follow that data around. Proceduralism, you can literally see what's going on. You have a thing here, and it goes over here, and it does this, and goes there. We implemented uh, Bifrost USD, the operator SDK, and uh, Bifrost USD open source as kind of a three-part plan that went over the last year uh, in order to, to deliver the, the whole package. Um, first, we delivered Bifrost USD, which was an integration of USD into the Bifrost graph. Uh, USD data flows through the graph, and we gave users a collection of compounds and nodes in order to manipulate that data in Bifrost 2.4. And then in Bifrost 2.5, we released the Operator SDK. And this is an SDK that allows you to wrap external C++ uh, code and bring it into Bifrost. So for example, wrapping the code of USD. So my name is Guillaume Laforge and I'm a software development manager in the Bifrost team. So at Autodesk, for every USD product, we want to pro provide an open source repository on GitHub. So there's Maya USD, Arnold USD, and since December, there's also Bifrost USD. So our customers are, are able to build uh, our, our tools, our plugins, our USD plugins with uh, their own libraries. NPM Gel is a new material we created for the NPM solver. This can do something like shaving foam, uh, it can do ice cream, it can do a lot of things. And primarily it's controlled by yield stress. But what does that mean? Um, really for customers, it's you can create gels or liquids at a small scale, kind of like pack shot things. So maybe toothpaste, uh, something up close and uh, product related. Now that customers have access to enhanced simulation diagnostics and scopes, they can really get inside and see what the solver is seeing and the solver is doing. Sometimes you need it for problem solving, other times you just need it for enhanced control. It's really important to know what the solver is doing. So Aero Colors is a full uh, simulation to render workflow to get colors into your volumetric simulations. So this could be great for dirt and smoke, for explosions, it could be brightly colored powder, and the cool part now is with Nano VTT rendering, you can view this in your viewport without having to render. And it should look pretty much just like Arnold rendering. Property transfer has been delivered over the past few versions of uh, Bifrost, and we continue to work on it and release it. But I think with uh, the release of property transfer, we've removed a major stumbling block for implementing really fantastic geometry operations in the graph. And I expect to see an explosion of creativity as far as these algorithms go. If you're new to Bifrost or if you want to learn more about Bifrost, come join the community, come to the Discord, talk to people there. 
No question is too stupid, I promise. It really isn't. I've asked some really dumb questions on Discord. I've asked questions and then answered them myself. <laughs>